Hi, my name is Rebecca, and in today's lesson, we're going to talk about three words that are often confused by students, and these are some, any, and no, and also when these are attached to other words, as you will see on the board. Uh, this is something which is confused by a lot of students, and also specifically we had a request on our InBid website from Ricardo, who asked if we could do a lesson on this. So Ricardo, this is also for you, as well as all the other students out there. So let's look at the board, okay? So we used someone, somebody, something, or somewhere when we're talking in positive sentences, right? When we're using it in a positive sentence, in an affirmative sentence, all right? We use anyone, anybody, anything, or anywhere when we are using a negative sentence or when we're using a question, okay? When we're asking a question. And we use no one, nobody, nothing, or nowhere also in positive sentences, but in positive sentences when, we're, when there isn't even one item of that kind that we are talking about, okay? So let's look at some examples so you can understand more clearly. I met someone at the party, right? We're using someone because it's a positive sentence. We could also say I met somebody at the party, but generally speaking, someone is used more frequently. They are exactly the same, it's just someone tends to be used more often. Next example, I need to eat something, positive sentence, right? Or I want to go somewhere, again, another positive sentence. Now let's take these sentences and turn them into negative sentences and see how we replace the some word with an any word. I met someone at the party. If we make it negative, we say, I didn't meet anyone at the party, right? I didn't meet anyone at the party. So this will change. I need to eat something. If we make it negative is, I don't need to eat anything. Again, this word will change. I want to go somewhere, positive sentence. When we make it negative, it becomes, I don't want to go anywhere. So again, this word will change. Let's see what happens when we turn them into questions. All right, so if we have, I met someone at the party, we could ask someone, did you meet anyone at the party? Right, because it's a question, so we're using anyone or anybody, same thing. I need to eat something. Question, do you need to eat anything? Right. I want to go somewhere. Let's turn it into a question. Do you want to go anywhere? Right? So you see how we're using the any words for negative sentences and for questions. Now look, let's look at a few examples using no. There's no one here. Positive sentence. There is no one here means there's not a single person here. We could also say there's nobody here means exactly the same thing. There's nothing in the box. Nothing literally means no thing, right? Nothing in the box. There's nowhere to go in this town, all right? There's no place or nowhere to go. So this also we use in a positive sentence but in a positive sentence when there is not a single item of that kind to talk about, all right? So I hope that this lesson has helped you to understand some of the differences between some, any, and no, all right? If you'd like to do a quiz on this, please visit our website, www.ingvid.com. You can do a quiz on this as well as uh, watch videos on many other English subjects. Thanks for now. Good luck with your English.